Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Want to know the four biggest D's that can possibly wreck your retirement? Well, stay tuned as we cover part one of our show, The Four D's That Can Wreck Your Retirement. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, The Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, retirement specialist and six-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Well, welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that little man in the sweater vest, retirement planning specialist and fiduciary, Tony Walker. And as we get ready to cover the four Ds that can wreck your retirement, part one, we're dealing with the topic of divorce. And in the studios with us to help us on this most difficult topic is our own Juanita Jackson, who is in our Louisville office. Good morning, Juanita. Good morning, Tony. And I know we're we're kind of limited on time here. This is such an important topic. And I know Trey uh, provided an article. It's called A Psychologist Explains Why Couples Gray Divorce After Years of Marriage. I guess this concept that more and more people who are basically at retirement years are going through a divorce. And I guess my question to you is being in charge of the Schwab department, handling all the paperwork. Have you seen a little bit of this trend hit home here at Tony Walker Financial? Absolutely. Um, we we are seeing uh, clients in after retirement or certainly after the children leave the home, uh, determining that it's it's not working and there's a split. And when that's happening, we're helping both parties, if they're both clients of ours, to reorganize and deal with the changes coming. And And I know I don't want to get into too much detail, but you have been through a divorce. And I think I guess you have a pretty sympathetic ear to people. I mean, I hear compliments about your work with our clients all the time. So first of all, we appreciate that. But can you speak to those people who are going through a divorce and you personally having been through a divorce, how you can kind of relate to them and how that translates into the care we take and all these details that need to be taken care of? Absolutely. When you can really genuinely say, I understand what you're going through (laughs) and you kind of know the process that you've been through too, you're going to experience a lot of change uh, and it can be different for females than males. You're even dealing with name change often with a female. So changing everything about everything. um, and, And I am sympathetic towards that. And also can sometimes think of things that they might not have considered. Um, Certainly things get dropped or missed like beneficiary updates, um, things like that. Yeah, I was going to say, if you had to pick one or two items that people just, again, and I know they're in the throes of that, and they just, I think you even mentioned this, and we'll talk about the issue of the other D, death, on next week's show, but I think you even mentioned a lot of people just say, I'm not really sure where to start, or I guess they're kind of frazzled, and how do you kind of walk people through, you know, just to get to that next step? That's what we're really trying to deal with, is just the next step. So we need the information we need the documentation and we can walk them through the things that we're going to need to. Uh, there might be uh, accounts that have to be split. There might be court orders. There may be settlement agreements that we need to know about so that we can help them to get things the way that they need to be and the way that they've ordered to be. Also, a reorganization of a plan. When everything's changing, your um, your family income is changing, your expenses are increasing possibly, um, you're going to need a new plan in place. And we're going to get into this in the next segment. I'm going to, going to go through the bullet points. But speak to the fact in our closing time here of us having that unique retirement game plan I'm always talking about and you having to deal sometimes with the divorcee coming in and being able to reference that game plan and hopefully them feel like at least they've got a plan. Absolutely. When we can kind of take a look at where they were going, obviously there's going to be a shift. There's going to be a change. And but we have a lot of the information up front because they have been clients of ours. We do understand what their goals were. And then we can reevaluate and get them redirected so that they are continuing to self-preserve and continuing to meet the goals that they had really wanted to reach in retirement. Well, Juanita, we appreciate all your work in heading up the Schwab department. Of course, we've got yourself. Craig Davis is doing a great job. Of course, Shannon's taking over trading. Uh, Wes is helping out so much. I mean, just all the players in the Schwab department. Beth, 
uh, we've brought on to do the onboarding. So thank you so much for what you do and taking care of all these details for our clients. We really appreciate it. I'm grateful to be here and it's, it's no problem at all to do it. Well, thank you, Juanita. Folks, we'll be right back. Our Better Business Bureau Spotlight regarding the services of Tony Walker Financial comes to us from James. Great service. They make you think you are the only client they have. Thank you. For more information, visit TonyWalkerFinancial.com or call 877-499-9255. Having worked in the retirement planning field for 40 years, I know it's not just about how much money you've saved for retirement, but making sure you one day don't run out of money. That's where Mailbox Money comes in. Mailbox Money! A reliable, lifelong income, much like the pension plans from the past. If you're interested in turning your 401k into Mailbox Money, let's talk. Just set up your free 10-minute phone call with myself at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Our client spotlight today shines brightly on Mr. Greg Ray. Greg, good uh, afternoon, and thanks for joining us today. Nice to be here, Tony. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. So what prompted you to contact us at this time? Because you've only been a client uh, what, about a year or so. So what prompted yeah, so, you to contact so us? I just happened on Sunday morning to see the Tony Walker show, <laughs> quite <laughs> frankly, Tony. Yeah. And um, um, from there, you know, about a, I'd say a year and a half ago, we, we really could relate to your story. We, we, we bought your book, <laughs> Live Well, Die Broke, or whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> and your story and your principles and your Christian foundation and, and thoughts about and the balance of, you know, what do you, what do you need to have? What do you want to leave to your kids or what have you? Because I got a couple of boys and, then, and their families and then, you know, the rest of it, how you want to live your life while you still can live your life, that is. So those three things align with the values and all that. We stopped in for a visit. We simply came in and <laughs> asked for a visit, and we got to sit down with you, and that was about a year and a half ago, and we're so, so glad we did. And so, and, and again, not to disparage anybody, but going from a large bank to more of a, I'd say we're more of a boutique firm, locally owned and everything, service-wise and everything, what have you experienced maybe that's a little different? Well, it, the, the biggest thing is, and probably the most surprising thing is, uh, the presentation of the suite of products that you had if we wanted to stay in the stock market and play the stock market game, which is a little bit more risky, you had the Charles Schwab products, we fine and dandy. We could continue doing what, we're, what we've been doing basically through the bank. Um, the fixed income annuity package, some of the things that you had in long-term care planning, the tax planning, the retirement planning and working, you know, making a plan and working the plan and the responsiveness of, of all of your staff is just incredible. Uh, that personal relationship, I mean, you guys, it's so responsive to what we wanted. It, it, there was no big business or a change over who your assigned investment banker was week over week or month over month as people moved in and out the branch offices and different things. So very pleased with the, with the, with the individual service. Well, we, we appreciate your business and hopefully many more years to come. So thank you, Greg, for uh, doing business with Tony Walker Financial. And Tony, best to you. We, we appreciate all you've done for us. You're Thanks. welcome. Looking for an advisor you can trust? Schedule your free phone call with Tony at TonyWalkerFinancial.com or call 1-877-499-9255. As we cover a very sensitive topic on today's show, remember this is a four-part series for folks, and part one deals with the issue of divorce. Now, keep in mind, as the product of a divorce as a 10-year-old back in 1970, I can relate to this topic. But more importantly, what we're getting ready to cover is the financial implications of divorce. Now, there's different people watching the show right now. There may be people who are already divorced, maybe people on their second or third marriage, maybe people happily married. We've got widows. It doesn't really matter your status. Now, I think you need to watch this so because you never know. It might be of help to you, or you might be aware of somebody who is thinking of going through a divorce, and not that this might change their mind, but this is the reality of how much a divorce can negatively impact one's finances. So there's seven bullet points. We probably could have come up with more. Derek's going to be helping over on the graphics over there, doing a great job over there, Derek. And uh, Aaron's going to be kind of giving me the chop-chop sign so I don't go too long. But let's try to cover the seven ones that I thought about that could cost folks a lot of money due to a divorce. And that's just the cost of two households. 
Many people forget when they come to me and maybe they're going through a divorce or they admit they're thinking about it or they've already been through one. Folks, you've got to understand something. When you split up, that means you're going to have two houses, two utility bills, two water bills, two real estate taxes, two rents, whatever. But you're basically doubling your expenses overnight. So this is a huge consideration. So if you're already tight on your budget, let's say you and your spouse are, you know, partner, it's 4000 4, a month and you're getting along fine and all of a sudden you split up. Uh, it's technically going to be probably seven to 8000 a month. So if it's tight now, just wait till you go through the divorce. Number two, finding health insurance. This is another thing people forget about, especially if you're under age 65. Someone came in the other day and they'd just recently been through a divorce and they weren't thinking about this issue. It hit them head on. Their spouse was working for a large firm and she was covered under her spouse's health insurance. Now, in that example, she's going to have to find health insurance on her own. I don't know if you've checked the cost of individual health insurance, but it ain't cheap. So again, keep that in mind. Health insurance issues could come into effect and those premiums could skyrocket potentially as a result of a divorce. Number three, more insurance. A lot of people don't think about this. Again, two households, two uh, homeowners insurance. Even if you rent, you probably need renter's insurance. Another thing people don't think about, let's say you own two cars. Many insurance companies provide discounts on car insurance if you have two or more cars under one policy. Well, think about this a minute. If you split those cars up, one spouse takes one car, one spouse takes the other, then basically you are actually increasing your car insurance premiums. All right, next up on the item of issues with divorce and the cost of maintenance and or child support. Now, some of you may be past this, but in many cases, even if children are grown, one of the spouses could be ordered by the courts to pay what's called maintenance, and that could last for quite a while and be an extra expense on top of the doubling of the expenses of the separation. So again, this could get very, very expensive. Another one is we money now becomes he or she money. In my book, uh, Live Well, Die Broke, I talk about this concept of we money. And we money means that no matter what happens, this money is kind of in a pot. We're not going to keep score. It's, you know, for me and my spouse or partner, and it's all good to go. Well, all of a sudden, when you go through a divorce, it's very interesting what happens with people who think that maybe this was my money or I brought this into the marriage. This is particularly true in second and third marriages that go through another divorce because sometimes the children from the first marriage, let's say, uh, that things start changing in the way that they think about this money. So just be aware of this, that you might think you understand what you and your spouse are going to divide up during the divorce, but this could get really ugly real quickly. Next one is changes in your estate planning. Now, we just touched on that, but you have to remember something. When you divorce, some of you forget to update your wills and beneficiaries. Uh, I remember when I studied years ago on well-known CPA Ed Slott, and he tells the story of a man that had a million-dollar pension, all right? He had as his beneficiary his current wife. Well, the man goes through a divorce. He quickly rushes over to the attorney's office and changes his will to reflect his new spouse who's going to get everything. There was only one problem with that strategy. He forgot to change the beneficiary on his pension from his former wife to his current wife, He dies, and guess who gets it? That's right, the former wife. No, really? So remember, if you do happen to go through a divorce, be sure to update all beneficiaries and, of course, update your estate plannings to reflect it. One more thing. There's a lot of issues with powers of attorney. We recommend that everybody have someone act on their power of attorney, especially if they became disabled. This is particularly true if you're going it alone, and you may want an adult child or several adult children to act as your POA in the event that you're single. Key point. Next, increased tax rates. Folks, this is really sad here. The government actually does penalize people who are single, and there's all kinds of issues, but let me give you an example. Recently, a client of mine came in who is almost 80 years of age, and she's a widow. Now, she's drawing her Social Security, and we're sending a little bit of that beloved... Mailbox money! ...of about $800 a month. And guess what? She's fine. Her house is paid for. She doesn't spend any money. She's following the live well, die broke principle. But then she confided with me and said, hey, Tony, I'm a little worried that I might have to file a tax return this year. And I said, well, why is that, Mrs. Jones? And she said, well, I had $200,000 for years sitting over at the bank earning no interest. And then all of a sudden I realized that I've moved it into a 5% CD, 
which is going to create $10,000 of additional income, which is going to go on the tax return. And guess what? Because of the extra interest, she now is going to have to file tax, a tax return and pay taxes. Because she's a single filer, she is being penalized under that example. So be aware of that. If you do go through a divorce, your taxes could actually go up. So folks, if that's you right now, regardless of whether you're single, divorced, unfortunately, possibly going through a divorce, please contact us. We would be happy to try to help you at least think through the expenses and the things that you're going to have to be aware of should you be single or go through a divorce. You can contact us at any time at no obligation at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Or give us a call anytime at 877-499-9255. Well, stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. One of the things we pride ourselves here at Tony Walker Financial is the ability to take the complex and try to make it much more simple. In fact, we've learned over time that people worry less about money when things are simplified. And let me give you an example by walking over to the whiteboard. What we're going to do is we're going to share the idea of minimizing fees with our split IRA concept compared to someone who recently came to me with a big money manager who had a very complicated portfolio and wasn't even sure how the fees work. So let's take a look. So basically what we're going to do is kind of take a look at a person that came to me recently, had about a half million dollars, we'll say with the other guys. Let me put a half million dollars up here. Was interested in our split IRA concept. Had no idea what they had in this portfolio. Actually, the portfolio had done good. I mean, if we're recording this show in August of 2024, Stock market's done well, they've made money, but they're retired now and they're getting very nervous. Plus, they could not figure out what the fees are on this account. So again, in keeping in step with keeping things simple and our split IRA concept, what did we do with this half million dollars? Well, we split it up actually into three buckets. Okay, sometimes we'll use two, sometimes three, sometimes we've had five to seven, depending on the size of the account. Part of that was with Charles Schwab. Part of it was with Amiga. And part of it was with a mailbox money annuity, all right? So it was split up three ways. Here was the point. By the time we did all of this between our Schwab fees, this had no fees, this had a small fee, we were at 0.5% on the fees versus 1.5. And you say, well, what's the big deal? Is that really going to amount to anything over time? Well, assuming, and we can't, you know, nobody can tell us which, which is going to do better. So whenever you're comparing things, you have to use the same assumption. So assuming the other guys made 5% and they had to charge 1.5 and we made 5% overall and we charged 0.5%, what effect did that have on the overall account? So if we forecast this out using these exact numbers in 20 years, how much is going to be in these accounts? All right. So let's take a look at the other guys. The other guys, we'll put 20 years down here. Over here, the other guys, this account looks pretty good on paper. All right. Would have grown to $980,000 after 20 years. You say, oh, that's pretty good. Well, we ran the numbers assuming 0.5% fees. Everything else is the same. So would these lower fees have that big of an impact on how much money this person in 20 years would have in their pocket? Look at the difference here. This example, everything being equal, just by lowering the fees, you're going to have over $200,000 more at the end of 20 years. So folks, I don't know about you, but this is a guarantee. If we can lower fees, we're going to guarantee more back in your pocket. Can we guarantee you'll have more money at the end of the 20 years or 30 years? Nobody can do that. But when we know we can guarantee we can lower fees, folks, that's guaranteed money again, in your pocket to plan for retirement, or you could even live well, die broke, spend and enjoy it. But better to have lower fees than being charged higher fees. So if this looks like something you'd be interested in, having a fee analysis, reviewing your accounts, getting a no obligation assessment of your situation, log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. We'll make sure we'll have a free phone call. There's no obligation. And if it warrants, we're going to meet in person at either a Bowling Green 
Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices. Internet not your thing? Give us a call anytime at 877-499-9255. We'll be right back, folks. Did you realize that if you have more than $250,000 in retirement assets, the government could tax as much as 40% of it when you go to take it out? And with current tax rates set to expire in 2025, the taxes you will owe on your 401k could climb even higher. Don't wait until 2025 to see how much Uncle Sam will take of your money. Get a game plan by logging on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Over the many years that I've been in this business and in meeting with literally thousands of savers to discuss their finances, including in these meetings are those who are on their second or even third marriages. And since I've never felt like I need to be in a position to question why someone would go through a divorce and remarry, I must assume that these same folks have heard about various scriptures that cast an unfavorable light on the circumstances of divorce and God's view of it. As for me, Someone whose parents divorced in 1970 when I was only 10 years old, I personally cast no judgment on anyone who experiences a divorce. Why? Because in my own life, I can honestly say that while I would have loved to see my parents stay together, nevertheless, as a result of their divorce, I now can stand here and look back and clearly witness how God has always been faithful in my walk since the divorce of my parents some 55 years ago. The way I see it, Had it not been for my parents' divorce, there is no possible way you and I would be talking here today. Let me go over to the whiteboard and explain. So if we think about this out loud, I'm I'm going to call this my divorce timeline. I know this sounds kind of awkward, but bear with me on this. So let's go through a little timeline. And again, in 1970, my parents divorced. And again, think about it back then. Most of you probably realize this. In 1970, not many divorces. In fact, it was ironic that the only kid that I hung out with was actually, he's in this picture right here, that was Tommy. He lived up the street. His parents were divorced. So there weren't that many divorces back then. So it definitely was a huge, huge adjustment for a 10-year-old. But nevertheless, the next important timeline, in 1973, dad moves from Lexington, which is where I was born and raised, to Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'd never been to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Had seen the ads for the old Beach Bend Park in Bowling Green, which were cool. Then, in 1975, I moved to Bowling Green and spent the next three years at Bowling Green High School living with my father. As he liked to say, we batched it in Bowling Green. And believe me, wonderful times during that period of time. Then, in 1976... I met Susan in the Commons area Bowling Green High School, who would soon be my wife. We got married in 1983, and then in 1984, as a result of my marriage to Susan, her father, Bill Moore, who had an insurance agency in Bowling Green, Kentucky, offered me a job. Now think about this. Let's stop here for a minute. We have to go back to 1970, and if you look at this entire timeline up until 1984, when I got into the financial services business, we got to ask a question. Would I have ever gotten in this business had it not been for the divorce? And the likelihood of that is probably no. I didn't know anything about finance, although I guess I kind of had a pretty good business mind and had my own painting service and did stuff like that, but I didn't know anything about the world of finance. So you have to look at this. When you're looking at any situation where things seem to be at their worst, I believe that God is always at his best. So let's keep moving fast forward. And this is where I come to my final point here. Now that we fast forward, as a result of my work in this field in 1989, I went out, I'll just put on my own. I struck out on my own, started my own company. I think I got incorporated in 1991. Uh, You know, it just kind of evolved from there. Then an important milestone occurred in 2007, when a local NBC affiliate at that time in Louisville, Kentucky, allowed me for seven years on each Monday to be their retirement specialist, and the practice kind of took off from there. So you might be saying, well, what's the point, Tony? The point is, folks, no matter what you're going through, there's two things I'd recommend. First of all, 
you have to assume that God is working for your good pleasure. And a lot of these things back then at the time didn't seem like good pleasure. But I'll tell you, if you will hang in there and continue to move forward, God will bless you and it proves to you, to him, that you have faith in whatever it is he's trying to work out. Number two, don't always look at bad things like a divorce, which was not a great thing, obviously, but don't always look at bad things as creating bad things for you in the future. I would argue, again, that had it not been for the divorce, you and I would not be here today. I wouldn't have been in this business. I wouldn't have over 3,000 clients. I wouldn't have Aaron and Derek in here to put on this TV show. I wouldn't have over 19 staff at Tony Walker Financial. And for that, I am very grateful to God for what he's done in my life. So moral of the story, folks, is this. While I do believe that God's word only encourages divorce in certain circumstances, God's Word is clear that there are times when we all must make tough decisions that are not as clear as we think, including divorce. And even if you have experienced divorce or been affected by it in some way, assuming you are riddled with guilt about it, don't be. Instead, do what the Bible suggests and simply forget the past, realize that you are forgiven, and that God has still got a plan for you and for me, a plan that includes a marriage made in heaven, one that by faith anyone can partake in. It's a covenant between us as the bride and Christ as the groom. Now, the beauty of this prearranged marriage is that by faith, it can take place right now by simply accepting what God has already prearranged, a perfect groom for us to be that imperfect bride. So friend, whether you're happily married, recently divorced, never been married or widowed, take the advice of Apostle Paul, where in Philippians 3, 13 and 14, he reminds us that no matter what our past might look like, We are to press on to that day when we are promised to be reunited with the groom of all grooms, the perfect groom who awaits us in heaven. That's right, Jesus Christ. And folks, that is some really good wedding news you and I can take to the bank. Amen? Well, speaking of a match made in heaven, while I can't promise you a rose garden here on earth, I can promise you that we at Tony Walker Financial will do everything in our power to help you be worry-free in this journey we call retirement. So if you are retired or maybe retiring soon, let me invite you to take advantage of something we call the free 10-minute fiduciary phone call, where you and I will talk for about 10 minutes to see if we can be of help. And if we can, we're going to arrange an in-person appointment with myself, that's right, the owner of the company, to discuss your situation. And best of all, this meeting is absolutely free and comes to you at no obligation whatsoever. So do it now. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on that. Let's get started. And if the internet's not your thing, no problem. We have operators standing by 24-7 that will answer your call. Get that call to the office and we'll arrange that phone call. Our number is 877-499-9255. Well, we've enjoyed today's program. Remember, next week we're going to get into part two of the four D's that can wreck your retirement. But but you remember between now and then, if all else fails, you'd be worry-free and make it a good one. 